There's my snowblower. Taking care of my friend Dennis's house. He just had a heart surgery. And Dennis saved something for me from his family. He's cleaning out his house. His mom and dad passed away. And some of his dad's... This has been a number of years ago. Some of his dad's tools he saved for me. And I've been meaning to get over here to get them for a long time. But anyways, there's uh, two hatchets and two axes. And there's a real good chance they're really old. So that's, I'm excited to uh, check them out. Keep from getting any more snow in my tennis shoes. Hi. Oh, is it this one? Oh, okay. All right, so I had to stop filming there. She doesn't know that I make YouTube videos, and I didn't want to include her in one that uh, she came out of the house. I didn't want to include her in one that she didn't know about. Um, these are the hatchets that I got. This is a, I think, a shingle hatchet. Really short handle on it, broken handle. Kind of interesting. This is maybe an earlier type of shingle hatchet. I'm not sure. It's very thin. This actually, uh, this actually intrigues me. This one's kind of cool. I don't know if it has, oh, it does have a maker's mark on it. Hopefully these are really old. There's a really good chance they are. Let's see, it says, uh, oh, true temper. <laughs> so that's not that old, I don't suppose. Uh, genuine Underhill, I think it says. Interesting shape. Might be something er fairly early. This is probably... Oh, cool. Very cool. This is a Norlund. This is my favorite brand of old axe. Genuine Norlund. Wow, I don't have a Norlund this size. The poles in fairly good shape. It's got a little bit of mushrooming there. Man, this is awesome. Still got some of the paint on it. This is definitely going to be a prize. Got some file marks in it. I think a lot of the original heads there. Very cool. Okay. And I've saved for last what I think might be the best. I don't know. Check out this handle. I just love that shape. It's got a lot of curve to it. Um, it's been sharpened off here to the side quite a bit. I don't know what brand it is, but it'd be fun to make a nice uh, axe out of this. see any maker's marks in it. We'll have to clean it up. This one's definitely has has had the most use. I see a letter P here. Maybe there's some more letters there. We'll have to try to uh, clean it up. But boy, I love that, that handle. I think that's a fawn's foot. Someone's drilled a hole kind of off-center in it. And this handle's loose. Don't know if it's, uh, it's probably not saveable. But cool. I got three new, three new cutting tools to add to my collection. This, this might be a fun one to cut into, you know, some kind of bearded hatchet or something. I don't know. But this... This turns out to be the prize, the Norland. Genuine Norland. Very cool. Very nice thing he did, saving me some of his dad's tools. <laughs>